Alexa, stop. Wait, such a good song. Fan and a pair of jeans that fit just right. And the radio wants. Gotta stop. Alexa, stop. Ready? I am ready. I'm awake. That's helpful. And I can see things. Hey, I'm Alex Radcliffe from Board Game Co. Hi, I'm Rena. And we are going to be playing and reviewing the Whatnot Cabinet. This is going to be a pencil first games part of their lineup. We'll we'll talk more. Ah, it's gone. It's all gone. It's over. Okay, so the short version of the Whatnot that's just gone. <laughs> the short version of the Whatnot Cabinet is we are collecting various curiosities in which we are putting into our well cabinet. So we're gonna have a little cabinet, twelve spots on it. I think I have it upside down. I think it's like that. Yeah, it makes more sense. It's the carpet on the floor. There we go. Perfect. We're gonna be putting various it's curiosities. I totally did not notice it the last time we played. Yeah, we're gonna be putting various curiosities into our cabinets while taking a bit of an action selection mechanism of trying to gather the different things, putting them into our cabinets. We're going to go be trying to score things because there are different types. Let's go ahead and show you a few tiles they're going to be different types and different colors that you need to be mindful of as you go so you're gonna have different objects over here and you're going to be trying to slot them into your cabinets by either getting different colors top to bottom or different types you know left to right so you're gonna be we well, can do it either way there we're gonna factor that in we'll go through it as we go through so my bad colors are top to bottom colors are in columns types are in rows and you either want all the same or all different you're going to score more points for having everything the same but you still score points for being all different what you don't want is some the same some different so two blues a yellow and a red would be bad four blues would be great a yellow a red a blue and a green would be great if those are the colors i don't actually remember what the colors are but past that you're going to be also taking into account these various goals over here that we're going to be trying to achieve we have collect four crowns we have a few different pattern matching we're going to be going for and then in general we all get a point for every additional animal that's basically the prime mechanism of the game the only other thing to really talk about is the various actions you can take as you go which we'll go through as we take them all for the first time mm -hmm. so we're going to go ahead and start by putting out four tiles every round is going to be four tiles we're playing a two-player game <laughs> Game, which means in a two-player game the thing that we're going to be doing differently is we're going to be playing this game across three rounds because we're taking two turns each round as opposed to in a three or four player game it would be six rounds because you're taking one turn per round Good. so i'm going first which means i'm going to take my pawn over here and i'm going to choose one of the five actions as i go through each action once i'll tell you how that action is playing out so i also want to be mindful of collecting crowns which is very helpful so i think i want to try to get crowns right now Crowns is possibly the way to go. So I think I'm going to go straight for over here, where I'm going to take a tile from the bag and add it to the board, and then gather... Hmm. You're doing number three, add one tile to the outdoors, and yeah. take two tiles from the outdoors? Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Adding one tile to the outdoors, and then taking two tiles from the outdoors. Ooh, Ooh. two matching colors. We're mm. going to go for that. Fine. And I'm going to go ahead and lock that into columns like so. And Very now lovely. it's your turn, sweetie. I think I am going to... Draw two tiles, and there's okay. number two, because it's fun. So you draw two tiles, picking yeah. one of them, and adding the other, and then picking one from the outdoors. Right, then, hold on a second. Take, draw two tiles. Yep. Okay. Then, take one and place the other into the outdoors, and take any one from the outdoors. Ooh la la. So I will do the same. I will take one. Hmm. I'm going to put the shell here, keep this blue, and then take this blue. And then I will do the same as you. Okay, perfect. And I still have another action to go. I could take the first action, which is draw three tiles, keep two, and discard one. That helps me go first again next round. But I also like the crystal there, but I don't actually care enough about it. I think I'm going to go ahead and risk the first one so that I can go first, because the more powerful actions are further back, but turn order is going to be determined by what you're doing there. Mm -hmm. So I'm straight up going ahead and gra dra grabbing three tiles, keeping two, and discarding one. So. so these are not going to ever enter the outdoors. We have these over here, and I'm going to keep two of these three tiles, which worked out beautifully They're for me, honestly. Really well, yeah. uh, so I'm going to go ahead and put this over here like so. Yep. And then this over here, like so. And this gets discarded, which means right away I go ahead and collect four crowns. That's nice. going to be worth a point at the end of the game. Fair I'm going to grab a point and put it down here. You can either track the cards or the points. I like to get rid of the cards and put the points on my carpet. I'm going to go on the four. I'm going to add two tiles to the outdoors. Okay. And then take two tiles from the outdoors. So, no, um, downsides aren't many animals. You have an animal. What? You have an animal. Every animal is mm -hmm. worth an additional point. Mm -mm. Right. Mm. 
Mm. Yeah, exactly. I'm That's the noise we're looking for. I'm going to actually do this. Okay. And go like that. Can I do that? Yep. Okay. Now this, by the way, this is an ability tile that would sweep the whole area. We just didn't choose that, so we're fine there. Before we continue with the next round, I'll go over these abilities now that you understand how to play. Cool. We have these, not abilities, these are going to be the bonuses you can gather. We have four of the same object type anywhere. So if you have four of any one type, so for instance, you already have two animals and two crystals. We have seven objects placed with no row or column completed. So you're trying to get a bunch of objects out before you complete a row or column. We have complete a row and column. So these kind of work against each other. And then we have one row each of three different and three same object types. So that would be helpful there in terms of that. And then we slot these back up in their respective turn order. And we pull out four new tiles. You how your piece is taller than my piece. That's because I'm telling you, sweetie. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're going to go ahead and put these out. So I like that crystal there. That could be helpful. I like that crystal there. One row each of three different and three same object types. I don't love that that much, but it could be useful. One row each of three different and three same object types. Have four of the same object type anywhere. So I probably want the vase. Let's start with that. Let's go ahead and put this over here, grabbing one tile, grabbing three tiles, two tiles, keeping one and adding the other to the outdoors. So we have this over here like so. Ooh, this is so interesting. Mm. Okay. So I like the idea of grabbing this because that's an animal that could be worth points. And then I think I want to grab this because it could be helpful special magical. Yeah, it's I think really so. Special. I'm going to go ahead and put this over here like so, which does mean I'm no longer eligible for this because I've completed a row. And I'm going to go ahead and put this over here like so. So just for context here, so you can understand how this plays out. I have now completed a row, uh, a row over here, and the row is of objects of the same type. So I'm going to grab a three point token. That's going to, that's going to be worth. And I'm going to go ahead and slot that next to my row, indicating that I score three points for that row. Mm -hmm. And sweetie, it's your turn. It's indeed my turn. I have to decide where I want to go. For simplicity's sake, I'm going to score this from the outside so that's not in the common zone. I understand. Wait one second. And a dollar ah! sign for a peace of mind. Mm. This I learned the most. Mm. Something, 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 something. I always like this number four. Add two tiles and then take two tiles. Mm. Ooh, you got a sweep tile too, which is nice and safe. That's actually a very safe option to go with. But I like two of them. Oh, then then, then don't take that option. I mean, unfortunately, if I play, but the problem is if I place this here. Yes. I hear you. I hear you. I think I messed up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Here. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and put my character thing over here where I'm going to sweep the entire row. Why would you do that? Put out four new tiles. That wasn't fair. And then take two of those tiles. Fine. One, two, three, and four. Four, 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 four. I like the purple. I like the purple, but the purple doesn't help me in my goals and quest for world domination. Well. Yes, I'm going to grab these two over here. I'm going to slot. Ooh, that doesn't help. Mm, ah, those are noises that you can expect while playing this wow. game. I'm going to slot that one down there, which could be an all-color row. But more importantly, I'm going to slot this one down over here. So the re relevance of this is I now have a row that's all the same and a row that's all different. That all different row is going to score me only one point. Right. But it will lock in this card over here, which means I got another two points on my carpet. Carpet points. I'm going to go first. Carpet points. They're called carpet points. Hilarious. Okay, I'm doing number one, which is draw three tiles, keep two, and discard one. Yes, you do. We're just going to, you know, hope that it Yep, yeah, just slot them over here so they're on camera. Okay. Yeah, the fun part of playing on camera is you have to, like, really redo everything. Your turns can't take as long. You can't be as awkward. You can no longer yell at each other in between turns. Uh, and you you got to keep everything on camera. Right. Okay, so this one is perfect. You're perfect. Aw, thanks. I don't that like I would do off camera. No. I don't like either of these. <laughs> oh, we'll just... It's another animal. Okay, so Animals I put this here. Yes. Right? And you now have seven tiles and no row or column. Nope. Yep. Boom. Put two points in your carpet. And then, um, 
I think what I might do, I'm like debating if I should put this here. It's a reasonable debate. Well, because then I get two points. So why wouldn't you do that? Because then it messes up this room. Oh, oh, I hear you. And that's three points across. But do you have a better place? Well, if I do this, mm -hmm. this is four of the same, so that's four points down, mm -hmm. right? I mean, your only other option really is putting a purple down here, right? No, because I can't take anything from here. I did number one. Oh, so, so this is the other option? Yeah. So you could try to double down over here, getting another option there. I'm not saying what you should do. I'm just saying, like, it's, those are your options, right? Mm. You Did you draw three tiles? Mm-hmm. Where did all go? Did you put it back in the bag? No, I don't think so. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, when you make mistakes off camera, no one cares. I don't remember what you did. Wait, what I have no idea what happened. Hmm. I don't know what I want to do. Okay. It's a dollar sign on a piece of mine. Ah. Oh, no, you're holding it. This is this is the one that's the extra one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's late. Don't judge us. You're <laughs> at least that told me at 11 o'clock at night. It's when the kids are asleep. <laughs> it's when the kids are asleep. All right, you know what? We're just going to bite the bullet. I'm just <laughs> Okay, done. Okay, these are going to be go ahead and be Gonzo's. I go first this time. You go first. Ba -ba -dum -bum -bum. Ba -ba -dum -bum -bum. One, two, three, and four. So this one's a fun one over here. This is the other ability tile. That one is you get a point, but you have to draw a tile and just kind of deal with it. So it's not great for late game why, where we are I now. Would, I wouldn't know. Do it, do it, do it, no. do it. I don't want to do that. I am going to do number two. Mm, I hear you. Add two tiles, take one. Add two tiles. Dollar sign on peace of mind. This I know the most. That's stuck in my head. Oh, that does not. Oh, actually, no, that works. That, that works. works. Take this one. Place the other one in the outdoors. Where does that go? The bottom row doesn't help you at all. Then take. This works perfect. You have. Three, you won't have three types across. What? You have partial. You have a mixed row. You have a zero point row. That's okay. You can do it. You'll get this before I do, which is worth something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, cool. So you have a zero point row. You have a four point column. Let's go ahead and put this, I guess, down here. Yeah. Works. Is that on camera? That's on camera. Perfect. Uh, we have a four point column. We have a zero point row. I and I took one thing. I have to take one other one. Well, though, oh, yeah, you should do that too. Yeah, and then you also get this over here, though, which means you're going to get two there. points onto your carpet again. Did you not take two points for the last time? I don't remember. Oh, it's over here. We just took it off. I don't know why. That's fine. Um, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, we're going to give you the point, the bonus reward, and now comes the part where you're like, no, why did I do that? <sighs> okay, that's going to be a, what's it called? The row over there. You're going to get a three-point row. Yep. Okay, do you have four of the same type anyone no, in your cabinet? No, I thought if it would have been a crystal. I thought it was a crystal when I pulled it out. Mm. I was more excited. You have two animals. You have, yeah, you don't have that yet. I have three crystals. I okay. have three bottles and I have three crystals. You don't have that either. That's unfortunate. I really yeah, need to work on that. Okay. In the meantime, I think that means I am going to go with my gut instinct here. And we're going to start with a sweep. You're actually happy about this time, aren't I you? I am so happy about the sweep. That was a very helpful sweep. Yes, okay. thank you. So we're going to start with the sweep. Yep. Which is a shame because one of those tiles I wanted, but only one. And then this is not at all what I wanted, to be very clear. None of this is what I wanted. None of it. At all, so cool. in the slightest. So Although, the truth is not... None of it, That's because of I could take these over here, yeah, which is going to go here like that. Nice. And that's actually pretty helpful. Cool. I'm going to go ahead and get uh, this column over here, which will be four points for that column. And then I will get for this row, three points for that row. I don't know why four points for that column. That's not true at all. I'm just cheating over there. Two points for this column, because it's different colors. Your turn, sweet. All right. I can either draw three tiles, keep two, and discard, which might be helpful, because... None of those are helpful to me at all. Mm, it's a shame. I think I'm going to do that. All right, here's hoping. You ready? That's a reasonable move. One. It's actually quite helpful. Two. 
Well, Laws will get you that card, at the I very know. least. Three. Okay, so that's going to go there. Mm hmm. Because now I have three of the same for there. And that one's going to go there. Okay, so a few things happen. You so got I actually this got, card I over got here. it doubled, I think. So you got two points on your carpet. Yep. Why do you have another point on the carpet? I What's going know. on here? What is going on with you? Oh, oh, because you, and paint. you I... took that, that card thingy. Right. All okay, right, cool. Then you, for this row over here, you have no points for yep. that row. You have two points for this row. Or is it two points? Yes, three points. Three points for this row. Mm -hmm. So you have three points for this row. Uh, this column we have four points for. Mm -hmm. And this column we have zero points for. Yes. That's your grid. That's oh your grid. Those are your points. You can add them all up in a second. But oh, my... we're going to go ahead. <laughs> my turn. I have this one. I guess discarded. Can I take them off of the grid? Or do you prefer not? Let's just I'll let wait, me just I'll finish wait. my turn. Let me finish my turn. Okay, go for it. I'm going to go ahead and put this one out here because it doesn't matter at that point. So I'm going to add two new tiles to the grid. Please be animals. Please be animals. Please be a red, a red animal and a yellow animal would be really nice right about now. Okay. It gonna, gave you red. It gave you red. Now anything, ex so I want it to be yellow, not animal and not leaf. Mm. It was animal. Doesn't help. It's a very nice cat. At all. Very nice cat. I'm not getting anything for that I one. I like the cat. I appreciate that you like the cat, it sweetie. It matches my dress. I, I appreciate that you like the cat, sweetie. I'm going to go ahead and put this over here. That's going to go ahead and give me the four, four point row, but I'm not done yet. Uh, then I'm going to go ahead and take, I could take the animal, but that will lose me, it'll give me one point, or it'll lose me a point, it's not worth it, the three point row is better to go for. Okay. So I may as well take this one over here, that's going to go over there, and then at least, at least I get a three point row while getting a zero point column. Okay. That's going to be that. The last thing we should do, we should discard these, we should go ahead before we score all our things, and count up your animals. I have two animals. I have two animals. We're not a lot of animals. I feel like they Yeah, I was hoping for more animals. Yeah. Oh, I okay. I'm gonna go ahead and take my two points. Okay, you have two animals. I have two animals. Go ahead and take your two two points, and then we can go ahead and put our points and count them all up. Cool. I have six points for my cards. Mm, well, I, I gave you points for the cards. You did. Yeah, they're on your carpet. Oh. Yeah. I missed that part. Yeah. Put your points over here so you can see my camera. I will do so. Ba ba da ba da ba da ba da. Ba 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 da ba da. You can just see them. You're like over here, over here, whole spot over there. Set up the camera area so nicely. I planned it all. I see, I see, I see. Yes. You doing Pals of Ten like I did? Yeah. Good. Okay, cool. Teach first grade. Yes. You teach first grade. That's cool. I'm so good at Pals of Ten. <laughs> she wins. She wins. <laughs> 23 to 21 is going to be the final that scoring. Really That's a shame. I mean, it's nice. I mean, it's a good thing. I'm so happy for you, sweetie. <laughs> I love you. Cool. So this is going to be the What Not Cabinet. This is from Pencil First Games, which brings us to the review part of this uh, of this video. So, sweetie. Yes. What do you like about this game? It's very pretty. It's very pretty. It is very pretty. It's also a quick, fun game. Yeah, that was, was like not, 15 minutes. Yeah, it was not hard to get to the table. It was not a hard setup. It was quick. It was easy. It was really... Yeah. Exciting. I like that it changes every single time that I get to play it. Yeah. It's very, very enjoyable. Yeah. Um, like she said, it's quick, it's fun, it's set collection, it's easy to go through. Uh, I, I, love I, I love set collection. Yeah. <laughs> you, I mean, and pen, lots of pencil first games, the ones we've played at least, are going to be set collection. This very much feels like a pencil first game. It's going to be like, like Herbaceous or what are the other ones that I... I, I oh, there are other flower ones. one. That's Herbaceous, isn't it? No, there's another one. There's more of them. There's a bunch of them. They have a whole bunch of their games. Flourifers they have. They have one. another one. They have a bunch of set collection games, all of them with like very beautiful art and fits into the same world. Uh, the game does have a solo mode, which we have not played. Uh, it has So it's solo all the way up to four players. The two and three player modes are my personal favorite as far as playing them. Four is still good, but you have a little bit more downtime, a little less going on. To me, two and three are the sweet spot. Uh, two, you're going to be running through the rounds a lot, a lot faster. You won't necessarily have the same variability. Like you mentioned, like, oh, there's not that many animals. Yeah, it doesn't feel so animal Because we have to remove all the stack of tiles for the two-player game. When you oh, have, that's right. I did remove a whole lot of animals. Yeah. And when you have more tiles in the bag, it does allow for more possibilities of, I get a whole chunk of animals and you didn't touch them at all. So, it, but then again, you know, so uh, yeah, not then again, it's faster with two either way. So it, it, two and three to me are the sweet spot. Four is still good. Even a four player game still going to run you uh, 25 minutes tops on, on the slow end. The game is a fun little puzzle. It's fast to play, fast to score. There is a small set of scoring cards that a uh, little, I don't know if it's a separate promo or included in the base game but we have it, but it's a little set of promo cards as well that gives you another small scoring objective that players have favorite colors and, fla and favorite items that they're trying to go for as well. Adds another small layer of dimension to it, but all around quick, easy, fun, uh, rewarding, little puzzly little game. What do you not like about the game? Hmm. I don't know. 
don't know. Yeah, so what I don't like about the game is going to be... You can tell that the card was upside down. Okay. <laughs> You're stretching. You don't have to find something. Um, as for myself, what I don't like about the game is going to fall into the category of... It, it is on the lighter side, meaning it's a game that I enjoy, I pull it out, I like it, but it has limited variability. It's the kind of game that we'll play because we play it infrequently, like we pull it out, you know, once every month and a half, it works. It's the kind of game that if I were playing this on a regular basis, it would slowly leave my collection because I'd get bored of the exact same... Or not exact same, but the similar gameplay. It's just, again, lighter games tend to have less variability in the nuance of strategy and depth, so it's on the lighter side in that sense. I would say the only that's more of a uh, an, uh, an issue with the type of game it is, not with the game itself, but rather I would say the one thing that is going to be slightly more... I, not really frustrating because I'm just playing this to have fun. It's a fun game. But if your goal was to win, you definitely can have those end game moments where you take a, an ability and you're like, you get the perfect tile that fits into your card, and then I don't. You could have that luck of, I mean, doing the game, you're you're building out your strategy, so it's on you. But that last draw, that last luck of the draw, where you're like, it's just a question of whether you get lucky, that can certainly happen and can easily be a three or four point swing in a game that tends to be fairly close. So if your goal is like perfect strategy and winning every time that might be a frustrating moment for you but past that it really does a solid solid job in the genre and class that it's trying to be uh which brings us to rating and final thoughts what would you rate this one hmm. dun, 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 dun. it vacillates between a three and a four it vacillates between a three and a four we have vacillating ratings now um so for myself uh, this one i mean i need to think about this i should, probably should have thought about it while talking to you uh, so this one, it's going to be a three for me. It's going to be a three for me. I enjoy it. It's one of those threes that I do enjoy. I find that a lot of lighter games tend to be threes for me. My level of enjoyment is not as high, but this is a quick, fun game that plays in 15 to 25 minutes and plays well at two and three players, decently at four. And it's a solid little gateway game as well. It's fun for, hey, we're tired. It's late. Let's play a quick game. It's also fun for, hey, you want to try a fun game? This, this might be a little fun and slotting up your category, your cat, Curio, sliding up your curio. Is that what it's called? Curio? curio I think it's cabinet? called a curio, right? Yes. Yeah, sliding up your curio cabinet full of things is fun. But yeah, so for me, it's going to be a three out of five. For you, a vacillating, a vacillating three Sweet. and four. Yeah, that's going to be the whatnot cabinet from Pencil First Games. What happened? I'm fine. I what do you do? Finger. I don't know. You whacked your finger into your finger? <laughs> yeah. We'll watch it on the camera later. We'll figure out what to do. <laughs> Anyways, this is going to be the Whatnot Cabinet from Pencil First Games, part of their general line of games, set collection, beautiful art, all those kinds of things. Until next time, I am Alex Radcliffe from Boardium Co. I'm Rena. And have a good one.